I imagine the most of the people in this room agree that this is not a bladder. Well, for people from my field, that is radiation oncology, a bladder is like a balloon. And I will explain to you why that is related to my research, that is to understand why urinary side effects occur after radiotherapy in cervix cancer patients. This disease is one of the most common types of cancer among women, especially in countries without access to screening and vaccination. So ladies, please do screening. And radiotherapy is often the treatment of choice. And modern techniques showed an improved survival of patients as well as a reduction of side effects due to treatment. But even if in a lesser extent, urinary side effects are still present, affecting the quality of life of cancer survivors even many years after treatment. And we don't know why it happens. The causes are not fully understood. And this is not an issue just for cervix, but all the tumors in the pelvic area. So there is a lot of research going on on this topic to put some light on. How to improve our understanding then? First, we need clinical trials, studies to reliably assess how often the side effects occur and how bad they are. And I'm lucky because I'm part of the EMBRACE study, a large trial on cervix cancer treated with radiotherapy that is collecting information from more than 1,400 patients from all around the world, including patient tumor treatment characteristics, as well as follow-up from months up to years after treatment. We really have the chance to understand what's going on. But then there is another issue, because when we, radiation oncologists or medical physicists like me, create a treatment plan, we want to kill the tumor with radiation, but we don't want to damage all the healthy organs around because we don't want side effects after treatment. And we consider the bladder as a single entity in which each part has the same function. As a balloon then, to make it explode, it only matters how strong you hit it, not where. But urinary side effects are complex, including different symptoms, and thinking that all of them have the same cause is a bit simplistic. We have to move to a more realistic idea of the bladder, and this is the basis of my research. Using the large amount of embrace data, I'm identifying risk factors responsible for urinary side effects, including substructures in the bladder, as well as other parameters related to patient treatment and guaranteeing patients the most efficient and safe treatment. Thank you.